Hey everyone! Welcome back to another SOAR episode from this season's theme of Book Chillers for Reading Olympics Books. If you haven't done so already, be sure to check out last week's episode on the heartwarming story in the book Bud Not Buddy. This week's episode is for the book A Raisin in the Sun, a classic book following the Youngers, an African-American family living in South Chicago in the 1950s. They receive a life insurance check of $10,000 due to the death of Mr. Younger. Mrs. Younger wishes to use the money to buy a house to fulfill a dream that she shared with Mr. Younger. Her son, Walter Lee, would like to use the money to invest in a liquor store with his friends that he believes will provide substantial returns and eliminate financial burden for his family. Walter's wife, Ruth, agrees with Mrs. Younger because she wants a big house to provide space and opportunity for her son Travis to grow. Finally, Benita, Mrs. Younger's daughter and Walter's sister, wishes to use the money to pay for her medical school tuition. Benita finds herself in her African culture and heritage while the rest of her family tries to assimilate into American culture. A majority of the novel has to do with each of the family members' own dreams, identities, and desired uses of money. Ruth is pregnant, but she's considering abortion because she doesn't want to put any more financial pressure on her family. Walter Lee, not listening to anyone else, invests $6,500 in the liquor store after being convinced by his friend Willie Harris. Willie runs off with the money, leaving Walter and the rest of his family in despair. What will happen to the family? Will Ruth actually have the abortion? Will Walter get his money back? How will the rest of the money be used? And what will happen to each of the own family members' dreams? Read to find out and join this incredible tale of oppression and perseverance. For me, I truly enjoyed reading this book and was touched by the message of working hard to follow one's dreams, even against oppression and obstacles. This book is full of inspiration, courage, dedication, perseverance, dreams, change, goals, love, friendship, family, hope, and is truly a book that I would recommend. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to leave a rating and review, and to spread the word about SOAR to assist its mission of increasing global reading rates. I implore you to SOAR.